number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Good evening, everybody. Flack is back. Now, next week marks the official release of the phone. Now, before you give up on the telephone, know that it is a lot cooler than I thought. I also cringed and rolled my eyes when I first heard about it, but holy crap, is it the coolest thing that has ever hit Rust? Let's see how it works. So to begin, let's talk placement. It places on top of any surface, be it a tabletop, a floor top, or the bare ground itself. It has two external ports, an output and an input. When you input power to it, it only requires one electricity to function. The output can be outputted to a light or a speaker, so you have an external marker in case you're deaf like me. Pushing E on the phone brings up this very simple menu with three tabs, the phone tab, the contacts tab, as well as the directory tab. The directory tab is where public telephone numbers will be displayed, more on that later. Contacts is your saved numbers and phone is the dialer itself. Now this part, the top here, says enter a name for the phone. That is your name that you'd want to be displayed in the public directory. I'm going to go ahead and call this Flax House. That number underneath Flax House is my official phone number. If somebody wanted to phone me, they'd reach me on that number. That number is fully auto-generated when you place your phone. The dialer itself is pretty simple. You type an eight-digit number and you phone. The contacts tab is where you add your friends and neighbors in Rust. We type in a name over here. Yes, that is how the South Africans and British spell the word neighbors. Thanks, Obama. I enter an eight-digit phone number, and just like that, we've created our first contact. I can click on the phone icon and phone them, or I can delete the contact should I choose. Now, much like the CCTV cameras, there are going to be many phones scattered throughout the map. That obviously will be confirmed at a later date. No information on that yet. The telephone itself can be placed on multiple surfaces, most notably all three workbenches and tables itself. Now, this is my neighbor's phone that I'm hooking up. I'm going to just teleport through the wall quickly, add it to this test generator and give it a bash. Right, now, my neighbor's phone that I have set up for him. If I access the phone, you can see it's also blank over there with its own unique phone number. I'm going to print screen this phone number and paste it into my professional drawing application so that I don't forget it. I'm going to type in the word neighbor with the correct Commonwealth spelling. Run over to my original house. Put off the unnecessary fire. Access my phone, go to the contacts, add the neighbor and his telephone number, and boom, I can actually phone the neighbor. I'll do the same on the other neighbor's side. So now we have the ability to phone each other. On the neighbor's side, I've decided to use a light on the output so that when I phone the neighbor, lo and behold. So yes, you can activate bombs, traps, doors, and everything else using a phone. So how does it actually function in game? Let's have a look. Mr. Spark, can I spawn you an outfit, bro, for the recording? Yeah. Ooh, spooky. So spooky, one could even say too spooky. Okay, dude, come inside, have a look at the new phones. What do you think? Ooh. Oh. Okay, so you see the phone, it's got three tabs once you access it. Got the dialer, got the contacts list, has the directory, the public directory. Over there on that side, that is your little housey over there. So I want you to go over there and then I'm going to add you and you're going to add me. Yeah. Then once we add each other, I want to end the Discord call and then I want to phone you in-game. Just so that I can gauge how it sounds in-game. Yeah. See how it functions. Okay, so when you first access your phone on your side, it says they enter a name for this phone. That is your side. So you would call that side Spark. I would obviously call my side Flack, right? Then on the second tab, you actually add your friend. You add me and then I'll add you on my second tab under the contacts. Three, five, two, eight. Three, five, two, eight. Oh. Okay, I'm going to end Discord now, yeah. and then you call me back on the landline. Okay, find me, you fucker. Hello? Hello? Are you fucking kidding me? Hello? Can you hear me? What's up? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I don't even have to hold the Viki. Oh my god, that's epic. <laughs> this is sick. Dude, that's fucking nuts. Okay, your phone's got an output. I connected your phone to like a little flashing light. Well, like electrical. So I'm going to phone you back just to see if your flashing light works. Dude, how fucking cool is this? Oh, that's amazing. I know, right? You know what the cool thing is about this, dude? You know you've got your team, the team that you play with regularly. You obviously speak to them on Discord. Yeah. Then you have those neighbors that you don't really speak to, but you, you are cool with. You know, you guys coexist. Oh, yeah. You can speak to those dudes, you know, you can phone them, you can trade, you can barter, just ring them up, be like, dude, I need a also, fucking yeah, semi, yeah, yeah. what so do you like need? If you want to scheme something, you don't have to say it in... Exactly, scheming, chat. planning, that type of thing. Can you imagine the possibilities? So, 
Sorry. Sorry, bro. We got disconnected. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go into D-Bag camera. Stay on the line. I wanna fly to your base whilst I'm on the phone with you. So I'm gonna admin fly to you just to see if I can hear you talking on the phone as if I was some kind of a door camper. Uh, okay. I don't really know what kind of conversation to make here, but... <laughs> How's the weather over in your little shack? I'm, I'm staring at you through the window right now. Bro, I'm fucking staring at you. You can't hear me. It's... <laughs> I can almost see you. So, Spark, are you busy holding the V-key at all? No, not touching it one bit. Because when you were talking to me and I was admin door camping, I could actually hear you talking. And finally, let's talk about the public directory. Now, this is a feature that I didn't like. Whenever you add a phone number, any phone number, it shows up in the public directory. Hence, this little right arrow over here. So, that directory is going to be loaded with people who have phones. I'd much prefer the vending machine method, where you can physically go into the back of the phone or the back of the panel, and you can disable broadcasting, or you can maybe private your phone number. I don't want people prank calling me all day. It's going to get annoying, and I probably would end up disconnecting my phone. So, yeah, maybe they can think of that in the future. And finally, what does it cost to learn? It costs 75 to research it, it takes a level 1 workbench. To craft a phone takes 50 wood, 100 metal frags, and 1 tech trash. That is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this very quick update. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. To my beautiful patrons, thank you so much for your support. And to Sparky himself for just helping me out with the acting in this video. You are an absolute star. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. And as always, Blackout.